by Mona. The temperature in Chennai had reached boiling point and so was it in Srinivasan's household where their living maid had quit her job and now there was nobody to take care of their three-year-old son Vijay. Rama had tried to take some leave from office but that had been declined. The doorbell rang and Rama rushed to open the door and she was taken aback by the sight of a manly looking woman who said, Amma, you are looking for a maid, is it true? Rama was shocked to realize that a eunuch stood in front of her and she mumbled something and closed, before closing the door she said, you just wait here and closed the door and rushed to her husband Ashok and said, Ashok, there is a eunuch standing outside looking for work as a maid. What should I do? Ashok was reading a newspaper. He looked up and said, give her some money and some asari and tell her to go away. Rama took some money and asari and went outside and said, what is your name? Santoshi came the soft reply. Santoshi, I don't have any work for you, but here is a sari and some money. Santoshi eyed the items but made no move to take them. She asked, Amma, have you given the work to someone else? Rama had no heart to. She said, Rama said, no, not really. Santoshi said, Amma, I see fear and pity in your eyes. If educated people like you would treat us like this, then we will always remain outside this society. We will beg, we will steal and we will peddle sex. Amma, I was born a boy to a very poor family and when I was three years old, just like your son, I was castrated by some hoodlums who forced me to beg. Suddenly Rama felt very ashamed and see that she went inside and told Ashok, can we give her a try? And Ashok said, are you out of your mind Rama? You saw head not your heart. How will we leave our son with that creature? Don't call her that creature. If educated people like us would treat him like this, then are they wrong to behave badly? I will lo lose my job if I don't go back to work and you cannot take any leave. I don't know how Vijay will take to her. Where is Vijay? 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 She checked in the house. She got into the front door. No Santoshi. No Santoshi. No Vijay. Ashok shouted, what have you done Rama? And she rushed down the stairs. And Rama went inside the lift shakily. She went down the building and ran towards the main door shouting, Vijay! 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 And suddenly near the main door, main entrance, she saw Santoshi sitting with Vijay on her lap and she went to her and said, how dare you? And tried to take her son Vijay from her lap and to her surprise, her son Vijay had, it, had his arms around Santoshi's neck and would not let go. Santoshi explained, Amma, I was sitting there when this boy rushed out from inside and went inside the lift and suddenly the lift door closed and before I could react he was inside and I rushed down the stair and I could catch hold of the child only in the lobby. Ashok came panting and said why didn't you call us and why didn't you take the lift? 
I had no time to react. And what if the child would have got gotten out at any floor? Rama started crying and took her sandwich in her arms and tears flowed down her eyes. And Ashok stood there awkwardly and suddenly he decided and said, Let's go home, Santoshi. Your home awaits. Thank you.